Hey everybody, it's Eric and Crystal. You're Mr. Bago Day. Oh, it's Mr. Bago Day and Mrs. Bago Day here. I'm Crystal, you're Mr. Bago Day. Okay, it's Crystal and Mr. Bago Day. And we're on our way to the bead place. It's a small bead and yarn shop and, and we're gonna bring you guys along. So we thought you would enjoy seeing the yarn also. I've never really been to a like, little independent yarn store, so I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully it's not too pricey. I'm sure it'll be more than Michael's, but... Yeah, if but they have like, a lot, though, it might be cheap. like online, they have quite a bit of, uh, of yarn, so... Yeah, check hopefully, it hopefully it's cool. It should be. There's the kids, they came with us. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Yeah, they're real enthusiastic about it. <laughs> Olivia's not with us, she's with Grandma. She's at my mom. She thinks we're lame, so... We're know, too lame. Not 15 year olds are. We're just... The lame. parents in a yarn store are just I are not cool. I think we're lame too, but he won't admit it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do. He doesn't think it, he said. I do better. He's a good sport. Yep. Good helper too. So we're happy to have him with us. Oh, yeah. I just had to bribe him with Arby's. Yeah. Food. We get what we want if we just give him a bunch of food. <laughs> He's 13, that's all he cares about. Yeah. This food and video games. Oh yeah. Well, we'll uh, film some more when we get to the yarn store. So, bye guys. Okay, we're here. Okay, I'll try to be slow with my camera and I might have to tell him what I'm doing here. So, I'm gonna go in and tell him just a second. Okay, I just spoke to the owner, and her name is Hannah, and she is very nice, and she's allowing me, to, she does not have a problem with me coming in here, and showing you her local small uh, yarn shop. I encourage everybody, if you can, to go to some local yarn, small yarn stores, because it is hard for them to compete against people like Michaels and Hobby Lobby, but I just want to show you some of their yarns, and she says she does support a local um, people who spin their own yarns. So, look how beautiful these are. Look at them cakes. Those are pretty. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Let's turn this rack and look at them. That's the really nice thing about, I think, small yarn stores versus Michael's. It's just, they have a lot neater yarns. Look at those hanks. Aren't those pretty? Wow. Very very pretty. What we got here? Little mini balls. So nice. Look at those hanks, aren't they pretty? Hand spawned and dyed locally. Gorgeous. It's pretty shawls. Look at that. That is pretty. That's knitted. That is gorgeous. Look at this place. This place is really, really nice. I gotta check this out. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Look how they're wrapped up in that big, thick, thick yarn. Ooh, look at those. Those are pretty. And she said they're really into, um, animal fibers here not not so much acrylic which is awesome because I prefer the the wool and stuff those are nice big old yarns here nice very pretty I like this yarn store. <laughs> it's nice. Try to go slow with my camera for some more of them big, thick ones. Very pretty. Nice. Let's go look over here. It's a little more price here. I would think, than Michael's and Joanne's. But, I mean, they are competing against those big stores, so I understand that. And this stuff is hand-spun. Most of it, she said, locally, so. Very nice. This is so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
yarn all around me. I like it. I wish my room, I, I have my, you know, my shelves that I have, but I like it when it's like, turn around and you got more yarn in the back of you. Look at that yarn. It's so pretty. I like this. Look at the beads in it. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know how much that is. It's probably, that's a, it's pretty expensive. But it's neat because it's already got the beads in it. Let's see what else we got here. These look like a little bit lightweight yarn, and I'm not into the lightweight, so I'm gonna come over here and look. Very nice. That's knitted, that's so pretty. I wish I knew how to knit. Oh, let's see, it's pretty. She said this is her alpaca yarn section. I really like alpaca yarn. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. Got some nice yarns here. There's a Plymouth brand yarn. Look at all that felted up there. Feltables and hats. I need to do a felted hat tutorial. That's what you need to felt with right here. It's nice. I might get a couple skeins of that. I like felt and stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. That's nice. I like that. I'm definitely probably going to get some of that. It's a hot cakes. Plymouth yarn. So neat. These are those little hat things. Oh, that one's neat. Look at that. It's got a little eyes that you already just sew on after you make the hat. Yarn animals. Oh, that's really a good idea, actually. These, sorry to move the camera so much. These are really cool. One hundred percent wool. You guys can talk. You want to talk on camera? They're shy. They don't want to talk. <laughs> these are really neat. These four. Well, these felt good. They, do they felt well? Do you want to be on camera, Abby? This is Abby. Are you one of the owners? I am, yeah. Okay. It's a beautiful shop you have here. Thank you so much. I like it. Thanks for coming to see us. 
Yeah, so this is pencil roving. It's really thin pencil roving. It's mm-hmm. great for spinners as well. You can ply it together. You okay. can use it for felting. A lot of our needle felters um, will use it for just like thin lines. So can I crochet something with it and felt it? You can. What it... um, just be really careful when you're working with yeah. it. You want to um, work with a really loose gauge. Otherwise, you risk okay. pulling. And I understand. I see it. that. You might want to give it a little bit of a twist first before you work okay. with it if you're crocheting. Uh, very nice yarns here. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do uh, yarn videos, and I usually do the big box, but I thought I'm going to start doing local independent ones. Well, I we think really appreciate that, that would be a lot better. So Yeah, I think there's probably a little bit more of a variety. Yes, a bag is beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yes. So that is, um, that's a Noro pattern. I don't know if you're familiar with Noro yarn <laughs> or not, but it's a, it's a really incredible um, company that makes really great long colorway yarns. Uh They do a lot of different types of yarns as well, but um, that actually is using Gina yarn. The pattern is from Noro, but the yarn yarn itself is is Plymouth, which is all made in America Mm -hmm. yarn. So it's these beautiful long Mm colorways. And it's just kind of like a stitch sampler that you felt after you knit it together. Or you could obviously do a crochet version as well. Mm -hmm. I love wool, my favorite. Yep. Right. Yeah, the Gina felt beautifully. Okay. What's your, you think, out of all your wool yarns, is the, or animal fibers, is your best felter, if you had to choose? Um, you know, Gina's our strongest seller for felting. These ones? Okay. Yeah. Um, our Galway felt wonderfully as well. Um, so that's going to be all the solid colors on the wall behind Right over there. there? Yeah, I looked mm-hmm. at those. Yep. And is that stuff that's felted from them? Yeah, those hats and stuff? Yeah, that at the top is I like those hats. Those are nice. They're cool. We've got some really cool patterns. I might have to. Do you have patterns yourself as mm-hmm. on your website? Um, so we uh, we have a lot of patterns in our books. We don't have them on the website. Okay. Um, but we have um, store patterns. Okay. We have free patterns with yarn purchase from okay. a lot of the companies. Okay. And we have independent designer patterns okay. as well. Great. Right. That's super cool. Okay, I think I might get some of this yarn. What do you guys think I should get here? Very nice store. Recommend you stopping by here if you live around here. I have to shut my camera off for a minute. They also have tons and tons of beads here. I guess it is the bead shop, so I at all these beads. To make jewelry and stuff. I love beads from my. It's a nice shop. And they have a bead making workshop over there, they said, to show you how to make the jewelry and, jewelry and stuff together. Very pretty. I guess this is the workshop in there. I'm gonna look at some more yarn. I think. Oh, this is pretty. I don't like anything blingy. That's pretty. I might have to get one of these for one of my bags. I got to color to get through. This would be cute hanging on a bag. Probably go with red. I'm trying to think of what color yarn I have at home. What do you guys think? Wish you could talk to me on here. I don't know about the purple. I think I might get that one. Chew. Oh, look at these stones. 
Pretty. I don't know how I would incorporate those in the crochet. Bet I could think of a way though. The goobies for bags, hang on bags. Go back to the yarn real quick. Try to walk slow. Picked up a couple things. I'm gonna buy. I got lots of stuff here. Very pretty. These are. my yarn didn't look like this. I mean, that'd be nice. This is pretty knitted, but beautiful. A lot of time in that. Well, guys, thank you about seeing this yarn shop. Hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. I might pick up a few skeins, and I'll show you what I got when I get home here. I'm just talking quiet, because it's such a it's different atmosphere than Michael's, so... I don't want to be roll out in here. It's pretty. Join the yarn club, save 10%. It's pretty. Look at that bag down here they made with beads all over the top of it. Oh, that's pretty. This is a good idea. I'm gonna get some wool to fill the bag, I think. Maybe like something like that. So I just don't know what to get. <laughs> I said this wool felt too good. So maybe I'll get some of that. Well, I'm gonna shut the camera off for now. I think these are so cute. How you got skinny yarn to make a hat, and then they had eyes and everything already for it. Super cute. Show you one more time here what this place looks like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Remember, okay, I've made it back from that small yarn store there, and I just got a few skeins of yarn. I got two of the red coffee beans yarn. This is uh, the Plymouth Yarn Company. thought that was really pretty. That red tweedy looking stuff. So it's, uh, it's a acrylic wool blend. So I got two of the red ones which are called, there's no name on them, no color that I see. Does this have a dye lot? Unless I'm missing them. But it's a four ply yarn. So two of those. And I got two in the coffee color, brown. Very pretty. It's actually really soft. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. I have seen it one time. I think it actually has some green here. It's really pretty yarn. So I got two red and these two coffee brown colors. And then I got three skeins of this Gallo. It's Plymouth yarn also. Um, it's Galloway yarn. It's 100% um, wool. And I love wool. And what I'm going to do is make a bag out of these three colors that I got. Camera up a bit here. Out of these three. I don't... I hope that it felt good. I don't know if it being worse. It, it'll probably felt pretty good still though, but... Um, yeah, it's 100% wool. Pure wool. And it's a four ply. So I got these three to make some type of bag with it. And then I'll try felting it and see what it looks like. And then I got this little thing. 
to put hang on this bag that I made <laughs> and that I make. I tried to get, I don't know why I saw this keychain. I like keychains. And I thought it would look good hanging off a bag. So I got my yarn collars to match this. So I'm going to make the bag felt it out of these three colors. Get some pretty handles at the um, Goodwill store. Maybe white colored or something. And with some gold um, or some brass handling, brass rings. If I can find it at any at the Goodwill store. I'm sure I can. And then I will hang this off of it. So that's what I got. Not a whole lot. Um, the store was a little bit pricey. Um, I figured that it would be it being an independent yarn store like that. But I did want to check it out. See what I had. They had a really nice selection of pretty yarns. But thanks for joining me. I hope that uh, you got to see some pretty yarns too. Um, they had a lot there I would have liked to buy. But unfortunately I just didn't have the. They were pretty expensive yarns. But, but I commend her. The lady that owns that store for selling. Now these weren't locally hand dyed yarns but she had a lot there that were hand spun and hand dyed and um they were really beautiful so um but that's it that's just wanted to take you guys along i know sometimes you guys like to go yarn shopping with me and you got to see some cool yarn today i did hope you guys enjoyed it so i will take you along next time i go thanks everybody for coming along